New York Yankee name is synonymous with winning world titles. The baseball club has come to be known worldwide and has cemented itself in our culture. A big reason for that is because of all the extremely talented individuals who have had the honor of wearing the Yankee pinstripes. So today we'd like to take a look at some of the greatest to ever do it as we count down the 10 best New York Yankee players of all time. Number 10. Alex Rodriguez A-Rod was known for hitting home runs on and off the field. During his playing time, he amassed over 600 home runs, scored 2,000 runs, had 2,000 RBIs, and a career batting average of .295. He's the only MLB player to achieve such feats. He was named the AL MVP on three occasions while having the honor of being called an All-Star 14 times. Also, A-Rod managed to bag for himself 10 Silver Slugger awards during his prime. However, his crowning achievement and what made him a Yankee legend forever was helping New York win their 27th World Series title in 2009. However, since then, his image and legacy has been tainted by positive PED tests. But as far as Yankee fans are concerned, that doesn't change the fact that he won them a title and elevated the Yankee name throughout the world. In the air to right, back is Abreu at the wall. That's gone. Number 9. Reggie Jackson Legends are truly made in the postseason, and with the nickname Mr. October, Jackson always showed up when the lights were the brightest. As a member of the Yankees, Jackson was named the league MVP, but his success wasn't just individual. He helped the Yankees win four American League easy divisional pennants, three league pennants, and back-to-back -back World Series titles in 1977 and 78. No wonder the Yankees retired his number. For his career, Jackson had 563 home runs, 1,702 RBIs, and a career batting average of .262. He also made 14 All-Star appearances, took home two Silver Slugger awards, and won a total of five World Series championships. Reggie Jackson. Long drive right field. It is. Goodbye. Number 8. Whitey Ford. Ford was a one-of-a-kind player. Not only did he take two years off to serve in the Army, but he also played an integral part in making the New York Yankees a legendary team. As a pitcher, he holds several World Series records, including most consecutive scoreless innings, most wins, games started, innings pitched, and strikeouts. However, what made him a Yankee faithful and earned a jersey number retirement was helping New York appear in 11 World Series, winning six of them. This also included a World Series MVP in 1961. He retired with a winning percentage of .690, which is the best in modern pitcher's history. Whitey Ford follows with a single, sending Rizzuto to third. Number 7. Mariano Rivera Rivera helped the Yankees make the postseason 17 times in his 19-year run with the team. And it was really his postseason play that made Rivera one of the greatest to ever wear the Yankee jersey. In the postseason, he saved 42 games in 96 appearances and only allowed two home runs and 141 innings. All of this resulted in the Yankees winning five World Series titles while he was named the World Series MVP in 1999 and the ALCS MVP in 2003. His incredible pitching play earned him 13 All-Star appearances and when he retired, he had 652 saved with a win-loss record of 82-60. Finally, he also has the record of the most games finished with 952. Yankees would retire his 42 number. And a strike. Number 6. Derek Jeter The captain, Derek Jeter, became an instant Yankee legend when he ended New York's 18-year championship drought in 1996. Since then, Jeter made sure his team didn't miss the postseason for the next 11 years in a row. This also included a three-peat as the Yankee won the world title in 98, 99, and 2000, and then again in 2009. Jeter leads the prestigious squad in all-time career hits, doubles, games played, stolen bases, and many other categories as well. So it is no wonder that he was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility and his jersey was retired by New York. 
For his efforts, Jeter made 14 All-Star appearances, was named the World Series MVP in 2000, won the Golden Glove Award five times, and the Silver Slugger Award five times. He would finish his career with 2,674 games played, where he reached the 200-hit plateau eight times. While in the postseason, he had a batting average of .308 and scored 111 runs, 200 hits, 20 home runs, and 61 RBIs. Derek Jeter ends his final game with a walk-off single. Derek Jeter. Number 5. Yogi Berra Yogi Berra was one of the pillars for the New York Yankees. His incredible gameplay elevated the team into becoming a cultural icon. He wasn't just the man on the field, but off it as well, as he served in the U.S. Army in World War II and was given a Purple Heart. Back on the pitch, however, Berra was a nightmare. He made the All-Star team a staggering 18 times, along with winning the AL MVP on three occasions. But what really made Yogi into a Yankee legend was helping the New York team win 10 World Series during his prime. This included five straight from 1949 to 1953. His 10 titles are the most in MLB history as well. He would go down as one of the greatest catchers in baseball history and would have his jersey retired by the Yankees while making the Hall of Fame in 1972. A high drive, that's trouble. It's an even up ball game. Number four, Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio was bigger than baseball. He was truly one of the early superstars of the game. A big reason for that was his ability to hit home runs as he ended his career with 361 of them. He also had a batting average of .325 along with 1,537 RBIs and 2,214 hits. In 1941, DiMaggio would set a record 56-game hitting streak which spanned three months. He made the All-Star team 13 times while being named the AL MVP three times and the AL batting champion and AL home run leader two times. He was also part of the legendary Yankee squad that won nine World Series. This included two different three-peats from 1936 to 39 and 1949 to 1951. His nine championships are second most in baseball history. At the time of his retirement, he ranked fifth in career home runs and sixth in slugging percentage. He also hit a home run off the field as he married Marilyn Monroe. So he was a winner in every aspect of the term. DiMaggio smashes a long drive just inside of the foul pole into the lower left field stand. Number three, Mickey Mantle. Regarded as one of the greatest switch hitters in baseball history, Mantle would play his entire career in a Yankee uniform. In those 18 years, he achieved some remarkable feats. He made the All-Star team 20 times, while winning the AL MVP three times. He also won the prestigious Triple Crown in 1956, where he batted .353 and had 52 home runs and 130 RBIs. Of course, you only become a legend if you win championships, which Mantle did. He won seven World Series titles beginning in 1951, while his last championship came in 1962. All of this despite all the injuries he suffered throughout his career. Mantle is the 16th all-time in home runs per at-bats. He is 17th in on-base percentage, and he would rightfully earn a spot in the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1974 and get his jersey retired by New York. There's a liner to left center for a base hit. Here comes McDougal, rounding third, coming in to score as Snyder's throw goes into Reese. Number 2. Lou Gehrig Despite his tragic passing in 1941 with what would come to be known as Lou Gehrig's disease, he still managed to etch his name in the history books. In his 17-year career, Lou would make seven consecutive All-Star appearances, win two AL MVPs, a Triple Crown, and an AL batting champion title. Lou was known for winning, and he won a lot. This included six World Series championships, three of them coming after he was named the captain of the Yankees. When he retired, he had a batting average of .340 and hit 493 home runs, 1,995 RBIs, and 2,721 hits. Lou managed to score more than 100 runs and at least 100 RBIs for 13 straight seasons. He would also lead the AL in runs four times and in home runs three times. He would also earn the nickname Iron Horse for playing 2,130 consecutive games before his disease began to interfere with his playing ability. As a standing in uniform in this ballpark today. 
Number one, Babe Ruth. All right, you know you did something right when you're picked in the first five inaugural members for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Ruth was arguably the first dominant player in baseball history. He would be named the AL MVP in 1923 and won the AL home run title 12 times along with leading the AL RBI five times. He was the first ever batter to hit 50 home runs in a single season, a mark that he would beat when he became the first ever to hit 60 home runs as well. He was also the first ever batter to reach 500 home runs in his career. Ruth won seven World Series, four of them as a member of the New York Yankees. Currently, he has the highest slugging percentage in baseball history while coming in second in the RBI list, third in home runs, and fourth in runs total. He finished his career with 714 home runs, a .690 slugging percentage, and 2,213 RBIs, all while becoming a cultural icon. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us count down the 10 best New York Yankee players of all time. Thank you for watching.